Daddy. Daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Mommy finger, mommy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Brother finger, brother finger, The tip of the tongue, the roof of the mouth, the lips, and the teeth. <laughs> the tip of the tongue, the roof of the mouth, the lips, and the teeth. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> Hi, sister. Hi, sister. Hi, sister. Hi, sister. Mmm, ah, went the little green frog one day. Mmm, ah, went the little green frog. Mmm, ah, went the little green frog one day. And they all went, mmm, mmm, ah. But we know frogs go, la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We know frogs go la di da di da. They don't go mm mm ah. Hi, brother. Hi, brother. Hi, brother. Hi, brother. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. <laughs> brother. Brother. This is the sign for brother. Take two hands and make the L shape with both of your hands. Take your right hand up to your forehead and then bring it down on top of the other L, just like this. Brother. Brother. To sign for sister, you're gonna do the same thing, but you'll tap your chin instead of your forehead. Sister. Sister. Brother. Sister. Remember, use two L's. And for brother, we tap our forehead and bring it down on top of the other L. And for sister, you tap your chin and bring it down on top of the other L. Sister, brother. Great job, keep practicing, okay? Let's do it again. Brother, sister. Brother, sister. That's awesome. You're doing a really great job signing brother and sister. Great work. I am hungry. I am hungry. I am hungry. I am hungry. This is the sign for eat. Take your hand and squish it together like this, where your fingers and your thumb are touching. Then you're gonna bring it to your mouth like you're putting food in your mouth. Eat, eat. That's how you sign for eat. Eat, mmm, eat. Eat starts with an E. It makes the eh, eh 
sound. Can you say eat? Like this? Eat. Eat. Great job. I'm hungry. Can I have some food, please? I want food, please. I want food, please. I want food, please. I want food, please. Round and round the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought was all in fun. Up goes the weasel. A penny for a spool of thread, a penny for a needle. That's the way the money goes. Up goes the weasel. I want a drink. This is the sign for drink. Drink. Make a C shape with your hand like you're holding a cup and then tip it up to your mouth just like you're taking a drink. 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 That's great. Can you say drink? Using your mouth? Can you say drink with your words? Drink. 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 That's awesome. You're working so hard. Five little ducks went swimming one day. Over the hill and far away, Mother Duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. One, two, three, four. Four little ducks went swimming one day, over the hill and far away, Mother Duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. One, two, three. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. One, two. Two little ducks went swimming one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One. One little duck went swimming one 
day, over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but none of the five little ducks came back. Sad mother duck went out one day, over the hill and far away. Sad mother duck said quack, 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 and all of the five little ducks came back. Can I have some water, please? 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 One, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat head. <laughs> I want more. I want more. I want more. I Want more. For this next song, get out your stuffy or a pillow that you can squeeze tight and sing them a song. Are you ready? I love you, a bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, and a hug around the neck, a hug around the neck, and a barrel and a heap. A barrel and a heap, and I'm talking in my sleep about you, about you. The cows and chickens are going to the dickens, cause I love you. A bushel and a peck, you bet your pretty neck I do. Take both of your hands and put your fingers together and tap them on top of your thumbs. Kind of like claws. Snap them together. Then you bring them together in front of you and tap, tap, tap. More. That's how you sign more. More. Can you say more with your words? Can you use your mouth? Mmm, mmm, more, more. Great job. Hickety pickety, my black hen. She lays eggs for the gentlemen. Gentlemen come by every day to see what my black hen does lay. More, please. More, please. More, please. More, please. Oh, hello, Sally. Oh, hi, Joe. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm really happy today. Oh, wow. What makes you so happy, Sally? I am so happy because I'm here with all my friends. Yay! I love you. 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 Can you say mama? Can you say mama? Mama, mama. I can say mama. I can say mama. Mama, mama. Can you say daddy? Can you say daddy? Daddy, daddy. I can say I am sleepy. 
I am sleepy. I am sleepy. I am sleepy. Two little bluebirds sitting on a wall. One named Peter and one named Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. I want to play. I want to play. I want to play. I want to play. This is the sign for play. Play. Do you like to play? Play. Take both hands and make the Y shape with each hand where your thumbs and your pinky fingers are sticking out. And then wiggle them back and forth. Play. Play. Can you say play with your mouth using your words? Pa, pa, play. Pa, pa, play. Play. That's awesome. Play. Time to play. Play. I need help. I need help. I need help. I need help. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O, B I N G O, B I N G O, and Bingo was his name. Oh. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, I N G O, I N G O, I N G O, and Bingo was his name. Oh. The farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O N G O N G O N G O and Bingo was his name O There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O G O G O G O and Bingo was his name O There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name Oh 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 and Bingo was his name Oh There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name Oh B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and Bingo was his name Oh Can you help me? 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 
London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. This is the sign for help. Help. With your right hand, make a fist and have your thumb sticking up. Then you're gonna tap it onto your flat hand. Help. Help. Can you say help with your mouth using your words? Help. 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 I need help. Help, please. Help, please. Great work. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide, saying, ah, 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 ah. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. You're so silly. You're so silly. You're so silly. You're so silly. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. I see you. Peekaboo. I see you. Peekaboo. 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 for silly. You're so silly. Silly. Hold your hand like this, just like you're signing the letter Y with your thumb and your pinky sticking out. Then wiggle it in front of your nose. Silly. Silly. You're so silly. Can you say silly with your mouth using your words? Silly, 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 so silly. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Let's do it one more time. Can you do it with me? Okay, get out your little spider. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. This is Fun! This is fun! This is fun! This is fun! Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Wait, please. Wait, please. Wait, please. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Make me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it, pat it, and mark it with.
with the B, then put it in the oven for baby and me. Can you please wait? Can you please wait? Can you please wait? Can you please wait? Wait, wait. Just take both hands and hold them up so that your palms are facing you and then wiggle your fingers. Wait, wait. I need you to wait, wait. Can you say wait using your mouth with your words? Okay, let's try, ready? Wait. What? What? Wait. 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 Wait, please. Wait. Wait. That's great. Mommy, read to me. Mommy, read to me. Daddy, read to me. Daddy, read to me. Read to me. This is the sign for book. Book. I love to read books. Book. Take both hands and put them together. Then where your thumbs are, open up just like you're opening a book. 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 Can you say book with your mouth using your words? Book starts with the B sound. B, B. Let's try it, ready? Book. 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 That's great. Book. Book. I like to read books. Book. Let's pretend you have a big piece of bubble gum in your mouth. Can you chew it up? Chew your gum. Good chewing. Okay, take it out of your mouth. Now you have it in your hands. Ew, it's so sticky. Icky, sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum. Makes your hands stick to your elbows. And you pull them, and you pull them, and you pull them away. Icky, sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum. Makes your hands stick to your head. Put your hands on your head. And you pull them, and you pull them, and you pull them away. Icky, sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum. Makes your hands stick to your nose. And you pull them, and you pull them, and you pull them away. Icky, sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum makes your hands stick to your mouth. Can you put your hands on your mouth? 
want to read books. I 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 like reading books. I like reading books. I like reading books. I like reading books. There's a neat little clock in the schoolroom it stands. And it points to the time with its two little hands. And may we like the clock. Keep a face clean and bright with hands ever ready to do what is right. Mommy, can you read to me, please? Let's read a story together. I'm so excited to read with you. I love reading. Today I'm going to read The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't you go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there. He was put into a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Now, run along and don't get into any mischief. I am going out. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker's. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who were very good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. First, he ate some lettuces and some French beans. Then he ate some radishes. And then, feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley. But round the end of the cucumber frame, whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? <gasps> Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees planting out young cabbages, but he jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake and calling out, Stop, thief! Peter was most dreadfully frightened. He rushed all over the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages and the other shoe among the potatoes. After losing them, he ran on four legs and went faster, so that I think he might have gotten away altogether if he had not unfortunately run into a gooseberry net and got caught by the large buttons on his jacket. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons, quite new. Peter gave himself up for lost and shed big tears but his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows who flew to him in great excitement and implored him to exert himself. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve, which he intended to pop on top of Peter. But Peter wriggled out just in time, leaving his jacket behind him. And he rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in if it had not had so much water in it. Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed, perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. He began to turn them over carefully, looking under each. Presently, Peter sneezed. <gasps> Curdy shoo! Mr. McGregor was after him in no time. 
and tried to put his foot upon Peter, who jumped out of a window, upsetting three plants. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor, and he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to work. Peter sat down to rest. He was out of breath and trembling with fright, and he had not the least idea which way to go. Also, he was very damp from sitting in the can. After a time, he began to wander about, going lippity-lippity, not very fast, and looking all around. He found a door in a wall, but it was locked, and there was no room for a fat little rabbit to squeeze underneath. An old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep, carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Peter asked her the way to the gate, but she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. She only shook her head at him. Peter began to cry. <gasps> then he tried to find his way straight across the garden, but he became more and more puzzled. Presently, he came to a pond where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. She sat very, very still. But now and then, the tip of her tail twitched as if it were alive. Peter thought it was best to go away without speaking to her. He had heard about cats from his co cousin, little Benjamin Bunny. He went back toward the tool shed, but suddenly, quite close to him, he heard the noise of a hoe. Scritch, scratch, scratch. Scritch! Peter shuddered underneath the bushes. But presently, as nothing happened, he came out and climbed upon a wheelbarrow and peeped over. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. His back was turned toward Peter, and beyond him was the gate. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could go along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner, but Peter did not care. He slipped underneath the gate and was safe at last in the wood outside the garden. Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and shoes for a scarecrow to fight, frighten the blackbirds. Peter never stopped running or looked behind him till he got home to the big fir tree. He was so tired that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes. His mother was busy cooking. She wondered what he had done with his clothes. It was the second little jacket and pair of shoes that Peter had lost in a fortnight. I am sorry to say that Peter was not very well during the evening. His mother put him to bed and made some chamomile tea and gave a dose of it to Peter. One tablespoonful to be taken at bedtime. But Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. The end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.